Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to fill the country of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that for in our weakness we feel we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, but making his voice heard in the street. <clears throat> a bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says the Lord, thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to, his, to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should, should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord, the Lord is, is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my light and my salvation. salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The, the Lord, Lord is my light and my, my salvation. salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I ran from the Lord will be with you. And with your 
Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had received from the dead. They gave a dinner from him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus won on of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a little lit of costly perfume oil made from genuine arom aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of the, his disciples, and the one who would betray him, said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and give to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money back and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Live here alone. Let here keep this for the days of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowds of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had received from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We see how Judas act before a beautiful work of love of Mary with Jesus. Judas' problem was that he had become attached to wealth. And as St. John of the Cross teaches us, one because attached little by little to small things, and then one makes serious mistake or sin, sins. For example, in marriage, when there are fights between spouses before there had been this <coughs> The respect, lack of demonstrations of affection, lack of attention to the other person, lack of interest in the things of the other person. And this happened to us in everything. St. John of the Cross gives several examples so that we can understand it well. He said that the soul is like a glass that has to be filled. If it is attached to things, it is as if it has crack. No matter, no matter how big or small it is, the water will leak. He also said that the soul is like a bird that must fly to God, and if the soul is attached, it's like it is tied to a feared, no matter how thick or how thin the truth is, it can't fly at all. In this holy week, 
Let us examine ourselves to see what is our fear, what is our loss that does not allow us to be filled with God, that does not allow us to fly to God. And once we have found it, let us make firm resolution to correct ourselves. May the Virgin Mary help us to see our faults so we can correct them with the love of God who is the most important things of all and with how everything is corrected and made right. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. <clears throat> Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mystery we celebrate here and May what you have merciful provided to counsel the judgment we encourage bear for us fruit in eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give you thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our beauty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and gracious resurrection are approaching by which the pride of the ancient foe in vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voice, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy. upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and was more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which would be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring here to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you through all the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> through him and with him and with him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for my divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and free God those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracefully from peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to you, Apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant here peace and the unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The <coughs> of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
we consecrate ourselves to Our Lady Luján. Hey, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sins, and our hope. To thee do we cry, for banish children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn thy most gracious advocate, and thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with an ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear parishioners, I wish you a very holy week. Don't let this covenant with you over. Jesus told us that he would be with us every day until the end of the world. So, with much encouragement and joy, we take advantage of this Holy Week together with Jesus and His Mother, the Virgin Mary. Now we'll give you the blessing. The Lord will be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thank you to her. <coughs> Saint Michael Archangel, defend us in God. Be our protection, protection against the wickedness and the sinners of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, of the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.